What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a dope team featuring everyone's favorite Pokemon, Lucario. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds every day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But like I said, we are rocking out with Lucario today and I absolutely love this Pokemon. But more importantly, this team is a Trick Room team. So it's a Trick Room Lucario team. So it's going to be a lot of fun to use and Trick Room teams are very, very strong in the meta. This Pokemon has, uh, or this team has Mimikyu, Oranguru to set up the Trick Room and you have multiple different ways you can go into. You can lead the Hariyama, fake out a Pokemon, set up Trick Room that way, or you can go in with Lucario with this Choice Scarf, drop a final Gambit, take out a Pokemon, and then set up Trick Room that way, which we're definitely going to be doing in today's video. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Start off in that top left corner with the one and only Lucario in our focus, the Choice Scarf, like I already mentioned. We got Close Combat, Meteor Mash, Ice Punch, and Final Gambit for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Lilligan. It's got Chlorophyll as its ability to double the speed in the sun, so it's going to be a perfect pair with the Torkoal on this team. It's got Focus Ash as item, Rock and Leaf Storm, Terra Blast, After You, and Sleep Powder to put Pokemon to sleep. Middle left is going to be Hariyama, and Hariyama is one of the best Trick Room Pokemon, hands down. It can fake out to get the Trick Room st started up, and plus it's super slow and hits like an absolute truck. It has Guts as its ability, Rock and the Flame Orb, so when it burns itself, it gets a damage increase. Then it's Rock and Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Knock Off, Take Off items, and Fake Out like we already mentioned a couple times. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Mimikyu. Mimikyu is always a solid Pokemon for Trick Room. It has Disguise, which is an amazing ability, allows it to soak up at least one shot, and then we gave it the Mental Herb as its item, so it can't be taunted. It's got Play Rough, Shadow Sneaker first turn priority, Taunt itself so it can, you know, Taunt, Support Mons, and Trick Room as its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our second Trick Room Pokemon. It is going to be Oranguru over here. As in our focus, the safety guy with his item, Foul Play, Instruct. You can actually use Instruct on Torkoal over here to actually make it hit twice with the Eruption. Really, really strong if you can catch, your, uh, catch yourself in a good position to use it. Then you got Trick Room and Protect for its final two moves. Final Pokemon is going to be the king of Trick Room, Torkoal. I just feel like Trick Room, Torkoal is just so strong in Trick Room. He just kind of, he kind of just owns it. That's why I said he is the king of Trick Room. It's got Drought, the Choice Specs to boost his special attack, then it's Rock and Eruption, Heat Wave, Solar Beam, and Body Press for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Melt Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with this Lucario Trick Room team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a lot of Pokemon that I've been seeing all across the meadow. We're reversing a Golden Go team with Garchomp, Mousehold, Annihilate, and then he's rocking Murkrow and Hyjalon. I feel like Lucario and Mimikyu can be a great start for us. I could also go Hariyama, but I'm really digging the uh, Mimikyu, the Mimikyu setup. Because he does have Murkrow with Taunt, and we got that Metal Herb, so I'm really liking that. I'm going to bring in them too. Got to bring in the boy Tor Torkoal, and then last but not least, I feel like Hariyama is just solid. If we're going to set up Trick Room, I feel like we got to have these Pokemon ready to roll. So we're just going to lock it in real quick, have our team ready to pick out, and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But seriously, hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet rank battle videos. I've been loving playing this game. So again, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. But yeah, he has Murkrow. Murkrow's definitely, he's that guy. He's him. Murkrow's him. He's a dog. He's really, really good at setting up the Tailwind. And then Foul Play can hit like a truck on physical attackers. He's just an all-around solid, solid Pokemon. And it's weird to kind of just see Murkrow. I feel like at this point, they should just give Honchkrow Prankster. Because like, it, it's weird like going up against Murkrow's, you know? It's just like, dude, just give Prankster to uh, Honchkrow already. Make Honchkrow the strongest bird in the game, you know? It would just make the most sense. But I feel like if you do give Prankster to uh, Honchkrow, then he might be OP at that point, you know? He's just really, really strong. He's really strong, but Murkrow's definitely taking over the meta at this moment. Or hopefully when DLC comes out, we can get like other Prankster Tailwind setters like Whimscott back in the game. But I do like Whimscott. I do like Whimscott. Let's see your opponent leads going to be Mousehold and Golden Go. So, um, I can just straight up final Gambit or do I close combat that Mousehold? Obviously, I want to set up a Trick Room. Obviously, I want to go for a Trick Room. Close combat will take out the Mousehold. So, I could kind of just stay in here. But final Gambit is not bad because I killed Lucario, but at the same time, I, uh, at the same time, I just get rid of, I can swap out. So, I think I'm just going to go for the final Gambit. But close combat will kill. You know, I'm just gonna go for close combat instead. Close combat's gonna fly. Trick room is going to pop for us. Let's see what he ends up doing. Let's see what he ends up doing. The follow me comes out here. That's totally fine. I'm ready just to get rid of this mouse hold here. He's probably going for his steel move, maybe. But close combat should KO, correct? It does. Cool. And mouse hold might have had more HP than this Lucario. Not too sure. Not too sure. But our defensive stats dropped out. I'm kind of hoping the Golden Go just takes us out, but it's no problem if he doesn't. 
we get an extra turn here. But he's going to make it rain here. That's not too bad. It's going to take off my disguise and do a lot of damage over on Lucario. And plus drop that thing's special defense. Or special attack, I should say. Disguise is gone. I could Shadow Sneak into that, which could be pretty good. So we might as well get off a shot. Because he's probably just going to make it rain again. KO my Lucario and take out my Mimikyu at the same time. But if he's going to do that, I would rather get rid of the right side Pokemon. Because if I can keep Golden Go in this battle with the special attack drop down, it could be really, really good for us. Could definitely be amazing for us. Let's see who he sends out next. I feel like he has to be bringing Garchomp, right? Garchomp seems like the play. Yep, there's Garchomp. Good call, Jeans. Jeans is always... I'm on my game. I've been thinking I've been doing good in this game. But yeah, he brings out Garchomp. Uh, if I can get off this Ice Punch, I would absolutely... Uh, wait, we're choosing the Close Combat. I forgot. But I was going to say, if I can get off this Close Combat, that would be amazing. But at this point, do I go for the Play Rough? How slow are you, Mimikyu? How slow are you, kind Mimikyu? You are 117. Ooh, I think Golden goes a tad bit slower. And I think you die to him, make it rain. So I would love to drop a play rough. Actually, I mean, it's minus. I'm going to go for a play rough. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak. I'm just going to Shadow Sneak, chip up some damage. And he's going to he's gonna withdraw. Well, so we could have got some turns out there. I'm going to go into Hydreigon. And he's going to pop an EQ. I'm totally cool with that. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with the EQ pop. So that's going to do like three damage. EQ is going to fly out here. That's totally fine. Levitate's gonna dodge with the Hydreigon, and he, my Mimikyu might be able to eat this up, which could be really nice if he can. Mimikyu does. So Mimikyu eats. I can bring out, I can bring out my Hariyama. Or I could just bring out Torkoal. I mean, I'm gonna save my Torkoal for that Golden Go, because if he has Golden Go in the back end, my Torkoal can 1v1 it outside of Trick Room. So I just think this is gonna be the swap in. I could close combat, just start piecing up on Pokemon. And I think that might be my play. I think that might be my play, right? I could fake out too. But I feel like he protects the Hydreigon. Makes the most sense. But I'm still going to attack him. I'm still going to attack him. Just on the off chance he doesn't protect, I'm just going to still attack him. I'm not even going to go for a fake out. I'm not even going to waste my fake out. So we're, I'm really just hoping the double protect doesn't come out here. That would be the only... That would be a bad turn for us if he double protects. But he's just going to strap Terrasalize. That's a good Terrasalize. Probably from the Hydreigon, right? Yep, smart try slash from him. Could have faked him out. Let's see what he goes into. Steel typing. That's fine, too. I, I'm pretty sure I KO at that point, too. I'm pretty sure I KO him at that point as well, too. Let's see. Close combat's going to fly. Hariyama's an absolute beast. And yeah, he takes him out. Like I said, dude, Trick Room teams are insanely strong. Insanely strong, especially when you're trying to push high tiers. Because a lot of teams cannot counter. So you kind of have an upper hand. But if you do get countered, usually, like, usually you lose. Usually, you know, when you get countered, you're just like, oh, dude, I'm going to lose this. I drop a play rough, do a lot of damage into Garchomp. He's going to rough skin me and then pop another EQ, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. He's going to have to bring out Golden Goat. We still have another turn in Trick Room. And my guts are going to trigger here. We think he's rocking double protect because that could be bad. Double protect could be bad. But we got to bring out my boy here. I think I'd rather choice into a heat wave here. Just in case I take damage from something. I'm going to bring out the Torkoal. He's going to send out Golden Go. I got to get rid of the Garchomp. How many turns left in Trick Room? Please tell me two. I think it's one, but please tell me two. It is two. That's huge. That's huge. I thought it was one. All right. I'll take that all day. But from here, um, I really do think Heat Wave KOs, so I'm just going to go into that. Actually, I got to get rid of the Garchomp more than anything. I got to double down the Garchomp. I'm going to go for the knockoff in the Garchomp, and I think Heat Wave should be able to take out Golden Go. So we're just going to pop this. I don't even think we need a Terrasalize. I could have Terrasalized. I should have Terrasalized the what's it called. I should have Terrasalized the uh, Torkoal here. Let's see. Heat Wave's going to fly here. Does it take out the Golden Go? I really hope so. I really hope it takes out the Golden Go. Cool, it does. Torkoal, like I said, King of Trick Room. Doing some work. We have one more turn left in this. If he lands a Double Protect, he has a shot at winning this. He lands a Double Protect. That's his only way of winning. Is there any way I can kind of like do something in case he double protects? Not really, right? Not really, right? Yeah, I can't do anything. But I'm just going to go for the close combat. I, I don't think there's a point of Terrasalizing. If I'm fighting Terrasalize and I'm fire, there's really no point. It doesn't do anything. We just have to land our, our attacks. So I'm just going to go for the heat wave. Hopefully he's not protecting. He lands double protect. I'm going to lose. Torkoal, I need you here. Torkoal, I need you more than anything to eat up this EQ, which I don't think he can. Don't tell me I'm going to lose to RNG here. 
Don't tell me I'm going to lose to RNG. He did already Terrasalize. I am going to Terrasalize right now here, too. But I feel like my, my boy can't eat this up. Are you kidding me? Double protect. Double protect hurts his soul. We'll go here. I, I'm going to Terrasalize. I have to make sure I pick up this KO. Let's do it. And just roll after strong. Ah, don't tell me I'm losing to this. Don't. Come on, Tor Torkoal. I need you here. But I feel like it's GG's, right? Torkoal, I need you here. I wish I had, like, Flying Terror right now. <laughs> just dodge it. Pop a little heat wave. We already know EQ's coming in here. Torkoal, I need you eating. Torkoal, I need you soaking. Torkoal, let's go. I love you. I love you, Torkoal. 63 HP. Needs you to connect this heat wave here. You do. Beautiful. That's going to be GG's. Woo. Woo. Close one, guys. Close one. But there it is. Wanted to get this video started. Like I said, Trick Room is very, very powerful. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our second battle for today's video. Going up against a similar team that I use. I use a very similar team with my Miyoshka Raid video. But I do remember that there was a Dragapult. So it's not the same team. He's Rocket Talonflame, Miyoshka Rada, and then uh, Amoongus, Sylveon, who has been really good in this game. Dragapult and Rotom Wash. Um, Huh. I definitely gotta pop trick him. That's 100%. But I need something to take out Amoongus. Amoongus has got to go. So I might go Mimikyu and Torkoal just right off the rip. I mean, if he does go Amoongus off the rip, I could final gambit it with the Lucario. That is an option. That is definitely an option. Or I could go after you and just explode the place with the eruptions. But I feel like the Mimikyu... I mean, not the Mimikyu. The Lucario could be really good here as well. I think Lucario all around is solid. I just think Lucario all around is really good. But you know, I'm going to go Torkoal as lead. I like Torkoal. I really do like Torkoal. Actually, I don't know. What do I want to do here? I'm just going to go straight up with uh, Hariyama here. I like Hariyama with the fake out. We will bring Torkoal in the back end. You got to bring it. And then Lucario. Just in case Trick Room ends later in the match, we can have Lucario just chilling in the back end. Ready to have his choice scarf ready. And just go from there. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But yeah, Trick Room is so dominant. I remember uh, in Sword and Shield, I used a Trick Room team that pushed me like one of my highest ranks ever. I was like top 500 at one time. That was really early in uh, Sword and Shield meta. Really early when I used to grind rank. But I'm, uh, I'm looking to push rank in this game. So we're slowly getting up to Master Ball tier. We're almost there. And I'm going to start pushing up rank off screen. And maybe on stream too. Maybe on stream. I, again, I've been very busy. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking where has the streams been, all that good stuff. I've been super, super busy. But from here, um, huh. I don't have to pop a, tr a trick room. I do not have to pop a trick room. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to taunt the Moogus first. I really do. I think I taunt the Moogus first and I fake this thing out. And then I pop the trick room. Just so we can't spore after the fact. Just so we can't spore after the fact. So I'm going to taunt this thing. Uh, now I'm going to pop the trick room. And then I'm going to get after it. Yeah, so he's looking to Spore. Good taunt from us. Lovely taunt from us. Lovely taunt from us. Now I can pop the Trick Room. And I can also go into a close combat here. But I think it's going to be my play, right? Let's just do that. Well, about it, because you can't follow me either. Or Rage Powder in this instance. He might Terrasalize. We can see what he wants to do here. Let's see. He's going to U-turn out. He's going to switch the Bug type. And he's going to roll into here. What Pokemon are you going to allow to take this close combat? And it's a free Trick Room up because we still have a Disguise. Huge, huge plays by us. Taunting at first. Great plays by us. The Moogus is very strong in Trick Room. He's an, he can counter in Trick Room. You can bring out Sylveon here. Okay. I can deal with that. Ain't too bad. Close combat's going to still do a nice chunk. Big old chunk right into it. But my defense is going to drop. He's going to Palm Puff me. That is going to do... A little bit. Again, I think I'm fine. After the Trick Room setup. So I set up the Trick Room. Um, I think I had to go after Sylveon, right? Huh. Sylveon seems like a pain, right? Sylveon does seem like a pain. I don't think Shadow Sneak KOs. I think I'm just going to start Shadow Sneaking this Amoongus. Chipping up some damage on that. And then just throwing maybe like a Thunder Punch or something. At it. Or Knock Off works. Either of these are going to KO, so... I'll just go for a Thunder Punch. Because who does he have? He has Meowth I just think Knockoff's going to be my play. Nope. Thunder Punch. We got to go for a, nor a, a neutral move here. A neutral move is our best bet. He could swap typings. But he's just going to protect. That's a smart play. 
So he's gonna start slowly wasting out trick room turns, slowly uh, wasting out taunt turns. That's his play all day. And who does who else does he have in the back end? Who else does he have in the back end? Very curious. Chris can come out here, and I think he has one more turn left in. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try to play rough that thing. And take out the Moongus with or do some big damage to Moongus. Because I can't deal with a Moongus in trick room after taunt. Me, and there it is. The taunt's gone. He can't put me to sleep, which is huge. But he can Rage Powder. He can definitely Rage Powder. Let's see what other Pokemon he has. He does have the Dragapult. Which is why I really don't want to go into a close combat in a few Pokemon. Hmm. But it kind of makes me think that he doesn't have Dragapult. It, it feels like he has Rotom Wash in the back. Because I went for a close combat and he swapped in Sylveon. But at this point, I think I just go after you. I want my Hariyama dead. I kind of want my Hariyama dead. How many turns left in Trick Room? Three. If I can get Torkoal out here with two, that could be really good. And then have my boy in the back end. So I am just going to go after... I'm just going to go after this thing. I'm just going to go for a quick attack. And that KOs. Cool. Cool. That KOs. That hurts. That hurts. But I get to bring out Torkoal more importantly. I could have taunted this thing. I probably should have taunted that thing. The real question is, who's slower, Torkoal or Amoongus? Gonna be that's gonna play a big factor in the, in this in this next play. It's gonna play a big factor, but I'm gonna go into you. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna trash slice here, and I'm gonna hope that Torkoal's slower. Torkoal's gotta be slower than Amoongus. Right? You have to be slower than Amoongus. There's no doubt in my mind you should be slower than Amoongus. Like, look, 22 speed. Come on now, 22 speed. This thing is so slow. You gotta be slower than Amoongus. But from here, I am just going to... Do I reverse the Trick Room at this point? I think I have to keep it. I think I have to keep it. We know Heat Wave takes out. We know Heat Wave KOs. I wish I could, like, boost my attack or something, but... I guess I'll just go into a Shadow Sneak there. I'm gonna Terrasalize. I'm gonna pop a Heat Wave. Guys, this guy's holding off the Trick Room really, really well. He sells Miyasuke around in the back end. Like I said, I still have Lucario with that Choice Scarf, which was a great back end uh, Pokemon for us. Because if Trick Room ends, I'm going to need somebody who can outspeed and do some killer damage. But we'll see what he wants. We'll see We'll see how this one goes. He's going to go for the Protect. He's going to Quick Attack me next turn. Is he going to Protect on the Moongus as well? He's not Protecting the Moongus. Shadow Snake comes out here. Please show me that you're slower, Torkoal. Thank you. Thank you, Torkoal. Thank you, Torkoal. So one more turn left in Trick Room. Hopefully, we're not dealing with uh, Double Protects again. And I can roll out here from there. So we get rid of Moongus. Again, I need another Heat Wave to land. You know he has Miascarado, which might come in here. I think Rotom Wash is the other Pokemon. I really do. I really do. It's, oh no, it is going to be Dragapult. So Dragapult comes out here. We know Dragapult's protecting you. 100% Dragapult's protecting. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, I guess I'll double down just in case because I know the Heat Wave KOs. He's looking for the double protect. He knows that Heat Wave's going to rip into these Pokemon. He knows it. You know it. Unless he's just letting the Sylveon go out. We'll see. But Dragon Ball looks so dope. He looks so good in this game. He looks really good in this game. Like, seeing some Pokemon in the ranked battles, they look amazing. Like, Scizor, Grimmsnarl, Dragon Ball's up there for me. I just think he looks amazing. We'll see what he wants to do here. It's going to end up terrestrializing here. Okay. That's got to be the Pult. It's got to be Pult. Straight Dragon? You're going straight Dragon, I believe? Yeah, he's going to go straight Dragon. I should have went for the play rough, but I guess Shadow Sneak works. This heat wave can still do a ridiculous amount of damage in the drought with the choice specs. No protects come out here, so we're doubling down into you. And I'm hoping I can pick up this double KO. I'm hoping I can pick up this double KO. This this is this could be the game. I pick up this double KO. Almost, but we can shadow sneak. Oh my god, and we get a burn. And we get a burn! That's big time plays. That's big time plays. He only has me Oscar Rada left. We can shadow sneak that down, so I'm not worried about him after this. And both those are going into Torkoal. So luckily I did choice into that uh, Heat Wave. So that's huge. That's huge that we got the burn. Because that would have brought us down close to, close to red. Burn my KO. Burn does not KO. But I'm Shadow Sneaking into that thing. I have to. Shadow Sneak into that. Miyasuke is going to be the final Pokemon. It's already down to half health. And again, I have Lucario in the back end to clean this up. The Lucario Trick Room team. We are dominating with it right now. We are killing it. Shadow Sneak coming right in hot onto this thing. Heat wave, we're choice into it. Oh, this thing actually got some HP. I thought we did a, a little bit more than that. I thought it was down to half. I'm kind of scared now. I am a little scared. 
Okay, they cancel battle. That's totally fine. He actually might have had a shot. He might have had a shot. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves another perfect record. I've been playing so good in these uh, ranked battles for video on recording for you guys. Been grabbing a lot of perfect records for you guys. Lost a few times. Hopefully, we can keep the perfect streak rolling and grab ourselves a win here because I know we grabbed a perfect record in the last video. But a lot of you guys been asking, like, yo, Jeans, why don't you show your losses and all that? My three or the three battles I do on recording are the three battles I show you guys. If I lose all three of them, I will upload it. If I lose two of them, I will upload it. If I win them all, like I've been doing, I will upload it. But it just seems like since I'm not in Master Ball tier yet, a lot of the battles I'm just kind of breezing through and kind of just picking up easy wins for you guys. But we've been playing some good teams today, and we've been playing really solid. We're hopping into the third and final battle, going up against an Armor Rouge team with Mimikyu and Didi, Corviknight, uh, Mousehold, and Titar and Titar. Okay, uh, Mimikyu is a must. The mental herbs is too good up against Pokemon with Taunt. Just way too good. And I really like the Lucario, so I am going to lead Lucario again. I'm going to go Lucario. I could actually... Let's give you guys a different combo. Let's give you guys a Lilligant Torkoal combo here. Lilligant Torkoal, I really like. We'll bring Lucario and I think Hariyama in the back end could be good. Or I could go Mimikyu. But I'm like, I'm like in here. I'm like in the no trick room setters. I kind of like the no trick room setter because we can definitely play it this way. We can easily play it this way. Which I'm kind of digging. But he might lead Armor Rouge. He might lead Armor Rouge. I, I guess we'll go for there. I do have Sleep Pad. I can put Armor Rouge to sleep. But we're going to roll out here with no trick room. We're going to roll out here with no trick room and look for a win for you guys. I know it's stupid. We could probably win this one super easily just by setting up trick room. But I'm a content creator above all else. I'd rather make you guys good content rather than uh, win a battle. So, oh, yo, this is a jam. I put the music on random. I read one of your guys' comments. Put the music on random. If that was you. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love you. But, uh, yeah. It's just a jam. Gonna go mouse hold. Uh, armor is just sitting here. Armor is a little tough. I gotta put him out. I gotta put him to sleep. Unless, ooh. I don't like this. I don't like this because I already know what's happening. He is going to. Well, after you fail, will this go first? Might as well Thrasslash, right? Oh, I could body press. Nah, I'm just gonna go. Can we go for the eruption here. I might as well. Let's erupt. Let's do it. Let's get a little crazy with this one. Let's get a little crazy. I'm hoping after you goes first before follow me. That could that could that could definitely screw us over. We'll see how we want to do this. I'm gonna try slice the Torkoal. I'm gonna see if we get Buzznear in uh, third and final battle. The mouse hold is kind of scary. If I went Lucario here, we could have easily did this. After he does go first, but or maybe he's not even using follow me. And he's just gonna pop here. How much damage are we doing to his armor? I feel like we can do a nice chunk to the armor. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> doing some crazy damage to the armor. Taking out the mass hold at the same time. And we'll see what armor wants to do here. He's just gonna pop a heat wave. Torkoal, how much damage that done to you? Oh, Torkoal? That ain't right. Did a little too much damage to you. Get a crit on my Torkoal. Now my eruption's gonna do like nothing. It's gonna do like nothing. That's not cool. That ain't right. Doing that much damage to my Torkoal. Should have went into a Heat Wave. This is why I've been choosing in the Heat Wave with the Torkoal. He's gonna go into Titar. I think I just put Titar to sleep, right? Titar might even protect here. Titar might even protect here. Did I put him to sleep or do I just Leaf Storm him? I have Hariyama in the back end. I feel like I put, I put him to sleep. So we don't have to deal with him later. He did change up the weather. I'm gonna slump him. I'm saying night night to him. I have to pop an eruption. It's an absolute must for choice into it. Sleep powder connects. Night night. Night night, Titar. I'm putting you to sleep. I'm not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. I knew it. I knew he had the lumbar. I had an odd feeling about it. You son of a biscuit. He was gonna fly. Torkoal dodged it. So Torkoal's gonna be able to get off an eruption. And we'll go from there. That hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. Um, Rockside's gonna fly here. That's gonna KO me. Okay. I have Lucario to kind of take out him. Um, but I feel like he has to protect next turn. If I throw out Lucario, he has to protect. Or I could just fake out. I could just fake out the armor and kind of go from there. Buffets are gonna fly here. We have these two. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Wait, what moves do you have, Lucario? You have found. Oh, I think we have to just choice to a close combat. Like, that seems like our best play. That seems like our best play, even though he's gonna protect. Even though he is going to protect. I guess she could go into a meteor match. Let me see your Pokemon. 
could have Corviknight. I think Corviknight has to be that Pokemon. Or it could be Mims. It could be Mims. That makes me want a choice into the Steel move. It could be Mimikyu, but I doubt it's Mimikyu. I feel like it's got to be Corvo. I think I have the choice in the, to this just in case, right? I'm going close combat. There's no way. I don't think he brought the Mims. I don't think he brought the Mims. I really don't. I'm going to go for the fake out. So don't withdraw. Please don't be Mims. Please don't be Mims. Is that Mims? I think it's Mimikyu. I think that's Mims. Okay, it's Indeedy. I can deal with Indeedy. I can deal with Indeedy. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Lucario's going to outspeed the T-Tar and take him out with the close combat. I can deal with that all day. Psychic Seed's going to pop. I thought it was Mimikyu. That could have really did me dirty. He doesn't protect here. He does protect. I'm cool with that. So he just wants to follow me out here. Uh, hmm, I could take, I could take out Indeedy all day. I can take out Ndidi all day. Uh, I wish I had protect on Lucario. Really do wish. Actually, Lucario might not be able to eat after his close combat. But I might just double close combat. Hmm. Nice little protect from him. I got... Am I still choice in close combat? I believe I am. Yeah. I'm going to go into close combat. Obviously, the follow me is coming out here. Just a no-brainer. I could close combat just in case the first close combat kills. Let me see your attack stat, Lucario. What is your attack stat, kind sir? 131. I don't think the first close combat's gonna kill. I really don't think it is. So I'm just gonna go into a knockoff. Let's see. He's gonna trash slash. He is going to trash slash. Went to what type? Are you staying rock here? Going straight dragon. I don't know why you just didn't do that in the first place. That's a smart, that's a nice little terror type right there. It's a nice, lovely terror type for him. Then the follow me does come out here. We kind of saw that from 18,653 miles away. And Close Combat's gonna fire. How much damage are you doing? We're dropping our defense, but Knockoff's gonna be able to slide over here. And we're gonna hope Lucario gets off one more turn. I kind of need one more turn from Lucario, to be honest with you. I need one more turn from Lucario. If I get off one more turn from Lucario, it could be sick, but I don't think we're going to get it. I think that defense drop kind of just ruined us. EQ, yeah. Lucario's not eating that up. No shot. Hariyama's going to take a nice chunk, and it's not looking good because I don't have any double-hitting moves. <clears throat> but we tried. We gambled a little bit with the with the no trick room in here, and it kind of almost worked out. If he didn't protect that turn, we definitely could have got rid of him. Or if he didn't have Indeedy, Indeedy really came in with a good swap from him. It kind of rolled out strong, but he's just going to bring out his next two Pokemon. It's going to be GG's. I'm going to run the battle. I'm going to run it. I'm not letting my poor little Hariyama die here. But man, I should I should just won it for my rank. But hey, I want to bring you guys some content. I want to bring you guys some content. Because if we would have went Trick Room, we definitely could have won that one very easily. I feel like this team might be one of the strongest teams that I've used so far. Trick Room teams are so simple to use and so effective at the same time. You got Lucario to pair up with the Mimikyu. You got Hariyama to pair up with the Mimikyu and the Oranguru. And Trick Room is just simply easy to set up. And once you get it set up, it's pretty much cakewalk. You have Hariyama to do big damage with that Flame Orb of Guts. You have Torkoal chill in there. You got Mimikyu, Lilligan. They can all do some decent amount of damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously. You guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.